Hello folks, today is Friday, December 2nd, 2016. As always, my name is Jake Valdino, here to talk about some video game stuff that happened this week. The first thing we have to talk about is the Video Game Awards. Now, I've been arguing that they get better and better every year, but I found this year to be a little limp and cringy and not really big on reveals, but there were some, so we do gotta talk about them. And the first thing, and the thing I'm most excited about, is Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. We got another long cutscene type of trailer, and it looks weird. Really, really weird. There's babies in jars. Guillermo del Toro is in it. There's robot monster tanks. There's Mads Mikkelsen making an incredible appearance. I thought this was such a fucking cool reveal, and he looks so awesome that that made me more excited for this game more than anything. It was nice to see Hideo Kojima get his time in the sun during this game awards. Jeff Keighley announced uh, his Industry Icon Award, gave him the award. Got kind of teary-eyed, but I mean, those guys have been covering each other for like t almost 20 years now, which is insane. 20 years? Nah. That's a little much. For a long time. For a long time. Like, since at least Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. The document of Metal Gear Solid 2 is integral reading. Some important things to note, Hideo Kojima did confirm later on Twitter that that gameplay trailer was running on PS4 Pro, and Norman Reedus, although he wasn't featured in this trailer, will actually be the main character, the character you play as in the game. In terms of what this game is actually about, I, I can't even really make any guesses yet, except for some themes about, you know, the military industrial complex, because it is Hideo Kojima, but also some cool sci-fi horror stuff going on, and also the ability of, of linking and connecting and, and babies connected with uh, digital umbilical cords. I don't know. I don't know anything about this, but I'm curious. Also, the famous director and friend of Hideo Kojima, Guillermo del Toro, shot hot fire on Twitter at Konami, just saying, fuck Konami outright. And I kind of love it. I got to say, I'm sorry. I know I'm always salty about Konami, but... Bravo. Well, nothing else at the Game Awards was really earth shattering. There were a lot of things. I don't have time to talk about all of them except for Bulletstorm getting remastered, which is really cool because I like that game. At first it seemed like they were announcing a sequel and I was really excited, but they aren't. We finally, finally, finally got like a real solid straight up look at Mass Effect Andromeda and it looks like a good Mass Effect game. That's, I don't really know what else to say. It does look really action heavy, uh, but it looks good. It looks faster. It looks beautiful and it looks fun. As much as I played all three of them and love them, I'm really curious to see what the super hardcore fans think of the new direction of the series. Let me know. I don't know how you could just gloss over the fact that now Rocket League is in space. Yeah, that new map they announced. Space Rocket League? Space Rocket League, yeah! And we also got an extended look at Zelda Breath of the Wild, which seems good. Mechanically, it seems sound. That game looks Fun as hell. Uh, the tech though, uh, it looked like it was still very early. The frame rate was all over the place. And some of the visuals actually didn't look that hot. This version was, it seemed like it running on a Wii U. There's just so much going on for it in a Zelda game and it's, it's very interesting. Also, there is a shot with a downed fountain that looks like the fountain in the square of Hyrule in Twilight Princess. So that could be a thing. But gameplay wise, I love the direction that Breath of the Wild is headed in. I'm still skeptical, but I'm excited. Also, I know this is like a detail about the actual game awards, but they did uh, the Doom music live, the composer of the Doom soundtrack performed live and it was fucking amazing. I, the soundtrack is so great. I would love for Doom to go on tour. I'm just gonna keep dreaming though, because that's never gonna happen. I don't think the world is ready for that. Also, PSX is happening this weekend and there's probably going to be a few announcements there, which we will miss at the time of this video. So we'll talk about it next week. Briefly, one other thing about Nintendo is that they have once again started talking about their theme park plans with Universal. And now there's a little bit more details about it and how, how it is fleshed out to all major Universal theme parks. And Shigeru Miyamoto is directly involved and they're going for uh, ageless and interactivity and it looks cool. Honestly, the only glimpse I've really gotten is actually their E3 booth. Nintendo's E3 booth last year for Breath of the Wild was really over the top and crazily done and it was kind of like a test bed for what they're going to do with Universal. So it's cool to see that. Guys, it's been a while since we spoke about <laughs> No Man's Sky, but here we are. I said I wouldn't ever again, but they actually announced something worth talking about, uh, an announcement. <laughs> Hello Games and Sean Murray has returned to Twitter to announce the foundation update 1.1 of No Man's Sky. Guy. It's live, people are playing it. The game has actually bumped back up on the Steam's most played list, which is nice, I guess. And what it does is add normal mode, creative mode, and survival mode, as well as the foundation for base building, which is looking honestly kind of impressive. They've also shown a lot more images about making biomes, changes to crafting, uh, freighters that you can take control of, and they look really cool. They've tweaked a lot of the UI and just generally made No Man's Sky more of a better game. And overall, the feedback on this update does seem pretty awesome, but there's still always going to be those people like myself 
that still just feel incredibly burned by the whole thing. You know, Sean Murray came out and tweeted about this, and that's all well and good, but that radio silence for the entire period, I think still just did them a little more harm than good. Honestly, me personally, I'm still gonna wait it out. This is the first of apparently a bunch of updates. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna play the game probably maybe six months, a year from now, when it's fully updated, and really just see if this game has finally realized what it was supposed to be in the first place. Also, I don't know if you guys caught this in the news, it was a bit of a quieter peep, but during an EA conference call, one of the heads of EA spoke about how there is not going to be another Battlefield game anytime soon. Battlefield 1 is the Battlefield game for now, especially with all their updates planned, and they cited specifically because next year is going to be for Battlefront 2, which I hope, I hope they learned the mistakes from the first Battlefront, or the, you know, the first new Battlefront game. But time will tell on that. I know some Battlefield fans may be disappointed, but it doesn't jam me up because Battlefield 1 is solid as hell, so I don't mind seeing that game being played and being supported for the next two or so years. Also, in some completely unexpected news that surprises everybody, Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC has actually gotten an update thanks to Rockstar Games. They've actually patched the game. Really what this update has done has fixed compatibility issues, which myself, a few months ago trying to jump back into it, uh, has faced many issues with. They fixed the whole Windows Live sign-in bug that a lot of people, including myself, were hitting. There's a Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 OS check. They fixed general performance, uh, resource usage, less memory leaks, and just general performance optimizations. And that's cool, man. I like stuff like this. Hats off to Rockstar. It's just like when Blizzard a few months ago patched Diablo 2. Grand Theft Auto 4 was damn good, okay? You know what? It didn't hold up to the test of time that well, but I think it's a great game that captures New York pretty damn well. Also, since we are talking PCs, a couple of PSAs to you PC folks. Uh, first one is that Ubisoft is actually giving away Assassin's Creed 3 PC version for free on Uplay. The problem is, you just have to have Uplay. The problem is that it's Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Hate them Kenway, though. He's fucking cool. And also, I don't know if some of you guys who own GTX 970s signed up for that thing uh, back a few months ago, but the litigation for the whole 970 lawsuit about how it was misrepresented as four gigabytes of RAM, that is happening December 7th, so keep your eyes peeled because you could be getting a $30 settlement. I think you guys know what happens next. We have free consoles to give away. You guys know the deal. There's a link below. You click it to sign up. You enter once, then you're entered for good. And then every single week, I close my eyes, randomly choose a winner who watches the show to win a free console of their choice. Why did I say it like that? This week's winner is going to be this cat right here. Check your email, check your inbox, check your spam box. I'm gonna be getting in touch with you. Did you say this cat? <laughs> I, did, I did say this cat. Shut up. Cool cats. Yeah, I prefer to people as cats, man. Folks and cats. <laughs> Folks, cats, broads, dames. <laughs> What's another one that's not racist? <laughs> but now we got some stuff to talk about. I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments what you thought. Uh, first of all, the Game Awards. Not really the Game Awards themselves because they're uh, but more specifically what was announced, what was shown, what was revealed, and what was talked about. Are you down with Mass Effect Andromeda? I'm pretty sure I am. It seems a little different, but I'm all about it. It looks like a high quality game. And if you are a No Man's Sky person, are you digging the update? Do you think it's enough? Do you think it's too little too late? Or do you think it's uh, a good starting stone? A good starting point? A good starting point. Fucking shit. Also, if the Doom soundtrack performed live came to your city, would you see it? Because I just, I want that to be a thing. And also, let me know if you're gonna take another dip into the world of Nico Bellic and Grand Theft Auto 4. Let's talk about any of the video game stuff that happened this week down in the comments below. I'll be there. I'll also be talking with you guys on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Jake Baldino as well. You guys know that. Y'all know this too, but newcomers should know that clicking the like button and subscribing is a really awesome idea. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. I'm not gonna say pizza on me. I think I'm done with it. It's a, it's kind of a cringeworthy yeah. catchphrase. Right. It's dead. It sounds so stupid. Move on. Pizza's new, on me. New Year's what am I, 12? New Year's coming up. New Year, new you. New Year, new phrase to say. So for now, I'm just going to say goodbye.